Welcome to this video playing Metabolics. Metabolics. Okay, so the this is sometimes called the weight defense. Like I think after this is Bob Weight. W A D E, not weight as in waiting. So I think the fear and shadow is a good line against that. Yes, they often do this. Uh, it's an interesting, interesting approach. The ninety-five or no? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I uh, I see the point. If I go queen b three, I will I will do that anyway. But black can go queen d seven here because there's no knight coming to e five. Yeah, that's definitely true. Bishop g5, e6. Bishop h3, <laughs> but there's e6. It doesn't really do much. Yeah, maybe this one. I think he has to go e6. And now I can take, which is really debatable. What what this does, if that accomplishes much. I'm still going to do it. My idea is f4, f5. But he will probably play f5 himself. This is what I only now got to realize. Hmm. It, I don't know, I would have expected f5 earlier, maybe bishop g7, looking at the deep horn. Yeah, okay, he goes f5 anyway. Let's just do it like that and, and put the knight on c5. That position is very static, so the knight is a good piece. Maybe he can play c5 now, as the knight is unprotected. Knight c5, bishop takes. Okay, I probably, I get the, I would have gotten the pawn up to c6, so not a big deal. Yeah, c5, he would get himself into a somewhat weird pin. So I don't believe that. Pawn takes c5, bishop, okay. <laughs> Rook c1 for that mentioned weird pin, which I really have a hard time to believe that it should be any good for black. B4 is the immediate threat after this. Hey, maybe it's got A5. Maybe I can go B4 immediately. Bishop C5, B4. Yeah, that is actually possible. Rook takes, Knight takes C5. So he gives up the exchange. Um, okay. Yeah, maybe just this, just attack it. There was, was some B4 tricks.
but that cannot be cannot be bad. Mm, okay. Black resigns. Hmm. I think he definitely was okay about here, but he had to uh, do it do it somewhat differently. <laughs> So f5, rook c1. Yeah, here c5 was a move that I found interesting. Yeah, immediately attacking here. Takes, takes. And I'm getting the pawn up to c6, but I'm not sure about the position. I'm not entirely sure. Something like this, trade off the active rook. Yeah, I'd rather be white, but it's not not so clear. He's got the deep on as well. And around here this is a bit this is a bit uncomfortable. Yeah, that, that just loses the game. Yeah, this is an important idea. Or rook c1, the simple rook c1. He doesn't really have a move here. He cannot move the queen as it is tied to the rook and knight c5 is threatened, so really no no move whatsoever. So I wonder if he could have avoided could have avoided that. I was thinking something like bishop g7 and maybe f5, but that, that also I'm mean, not clear. Okay, I have queen a3 just to be just to be annoying this. You can play he can take with the queen maybe. Yeah. Maybe like here. I think this looks a bit better than the game, but okay, I'm still rather white here. Yeah. Oh. Looks a little bit better. A bit a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, and maybe maybe white really keeps a small advantage. I'm a, I'm better developed and possibly have the slightly better structure if it, if I take on c6. My pawns are also not looking great, but they are not easily attacked. Hmm. Maybe it is slightly better for white. It's nothing special, but maybe just a little bit. Okay. Well, thanks for watching.